Hello, Bumpy McSquigums here, and it's time to continue with my Let's Play of the Original Risen! Ladies and gentlemen, I know it's exciting. I'm excited, you're excited, everybody should be excited, I smack the mic, I mean, that's how excited I am. I'm doing things, guys. Episode 46, that's where we're at. Cyrus is with us, there's a lizard in there, we're gonna kill it. So, let's get going and do some uh, damage. Seems to be by himself, he's just a regular priest, he's not an undead individual. Eh, get him, Cyrus. Oh gosh, oh that one was bad. He missed though. Yeah, stay down. Alright, we got ourselves another. Ooh, ooh, shiny amulet. And another teleport stone. That's 6 out of 14. We are making headway and headlines and things. Corduroy pillows making headlines? No, nothing? Still love that joke. Still love that joke. Think about it, guys. It will make sense if you think about it deeply and you contemplate it. And you, I don't know, pine after? No, probably not. Either way. Better start again. No! Job well done. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Bam! What? Alright, so magic protection, tell joke. Meh. Lots of random stuff, guys. I'm excited. I want to get through this game. I want to get on to other things, but I'm enjoying this game, and I want to see it to its conclusion. It's been a while since I played it, so I'd like to see it, well, get finished in the end, so... We're getting closer to that goal, and I gotta say, pretty excited. I guess so this is one of my favorite RPG games ever, so... Let's do it! Alright, we can go to the bed, or we can talk to Elric. Let's talk to Elric. Finally. I thought I would never get out of there. I am Eldrick. Yes, you are. Most people call me Eldrick, and I thank you for releasing me. What are you doing here? Who can say? What is a man Hopefully to you. fate but an ant to the queen? I am a druid. Who and what do you think you are? Uh, uh, oh, okay. Who knows? I'm a castaway. I got washed up here and now I'm stuck. Then fate brought you here. It brought you here because it has something in store for you. Well, duh. What do you mean by that? Oh, nothing happens by chance. There is a reason you survived. The world has a plan and you are but a building block. You cannot resist it. So tell me, why do you think you are here? Free peanuts. No? Not that? Okay, uh, let's see here. I need help repairing a magical artifact? Here, I found a staff. I presume it's yours. Here, I found a staff. I presume it's yours. Thank you. I lost it while trying to fight off these lizard men. Still, for my staff, perhaps you can use this amulet. Ooh. <laughs> I never was one for jewelry. Yeah, amulet received. Alright, let's see what's I up. I need help repairing a magical artifact. What kind of artifact? A magical one. A crystal disc, but the crystal has lost its power. Ah. Do you have the disc here? No, Master Cyrus has it. A mage? No, 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 I don't work with uh. mages. If you want me to repair the disc, then I will work on it alone. With you. Bring the disc to me. Without a mage, then we'll go to my hut. Okay. Cyrus, get out of here. I need the disc. Why? Eldrick does not want to include you in the ritual. Ooh. What? Nonsense. I must be a part. Is that what you'll say to the Inquisitor if Eldrick refuses to help? Very well. Arrogant stupidity. Take the disc. Gee, thanks. I'll look around and then return to the monastery. You'll find me there, should you find you need me. Hey, you helped me get through the magical barrier, buddy. I appreciate that. And you gave me the disc, so it's a win-win. I've got the disc. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We should get out of here then. Let us go to my hut. Come on! Why are we standing here where lizard men may find us? They're kind of all dead. What do you know about these lizard men? Oh, they might seem like simple lizard men to you, but they once ruled the world. But that was long ago, very long ago. I have no idea where these come from. No, no, no. They should all be dead, extinct, yet here they are. It must have something to do with the ruins. But do you think there are more lizard men? But the Who first... knows? Who knows? They must have been driven to places away from mankind. Taken to hiding. But the past lays claims on the future. The lizard men, the Saurians, are a part of the past. Maybe now they wish to claim the future. Eh, let's go to your hut, buddy. Let's go to your hut. Follow me. Ah, oh, I gotta follow you. Mm. Couldn't you just teleport us there? You are magical after all, right? No? Okay. Surprise! Looks like we have to run, folks. We got the runs. 
He kind of runs like he's got the runs, too. He looks like he's like, I gotta pee or poop. Well, could be either one. One or two, or both, maybe. Maybe it's kind of like everything is just trying to come out at once. I don't know. Either way, we're just gonna kind of casually run along with him. It seems like I'm still lagging a little tiny bit here and there, but that just might be part of the game. Sup, Cyrus? Look at that random crystal over there, buddy. How's that, eh? Huh? Not super great, yeah. Well... Looks like we're about to have three of the five or six, I, I can never tell, uh, crystal discs. We're halfway through, or is it six out of fourteen or six out of twelve? Aw, oh, you're gonna go the long way, you... Ooh, mana plant. There's another mana plant I can totally pilfer, alright. Yeah, 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 I'm coming. Stay behind me. I'm behind you, buddy. Just don't fart, because if you fart, this hammer's coming out and it's not gonna be nice to you, I'm just saying. Is that a dog, or is that Rufus? Rufo, that's Rufo, not Rufus. Come on, Rufo, let's go, buddy. Greenleaf. Yeah, Where yeah, yeah, I'm right here, dude. Settle down. Don't get your, uh, druid cloak. That is a weird-looking, that's a pretty wicked-looking staff, actually. Now that I look at it in a different light. A big old, like, ram's head on the bottom, and then I don't know what the heck's are on the top, but I don't know what the heck's on the bottom. Or, depending on if you're looking at it, how he's holding it, technically, yeah, you get the idea. Either way, it's a little bit crazy, I'm not gonna lie. And pretty sweet. Alright, we are back here at your hut, good sir. What are we going to do? I know what I'm going to do, I'm gonna hit F8 and save the game. So, here we are. We can discuss everything here. Alright. Are you trained in magic? Magic is one of the oldest forces there is in the world, I think. I wasn't there, so I'm guessing. Uh, the world is full of it. How does knowing this help us? How can you learn without curiosity? Have you never put your finger into something you shouldn't, just to see what would happen? Maybe. Why do you live out here? I have spent my whole life here. It isn't exactly safe out here. Where is there safety? What is safety? Whether you're in the town or in the wilderness. Out here at least I am only responsible for myself. S S S S A A A A F F. No, safety dance. No, nothing. Can you repair this disc? <sighs> Let me see. It is old, an unusual combination of metal and crystal. But the crystal is dull. Its power is extinguished. Can the disc be repaired? I can attempt to heal the crystal. Ooh. Only then can its magic be restored. Oh. What do you need this disc for? Stuff. I think, uh, we think this disc can help save the island, uh, let's do that one. We think this disc will help save the island. This disc? How can it do that? There is a gate that appears to lead inside the volcano. We think whatever caused these ruins to rise is inside. We? Who is we? Oh dear. Me and Inquisitor Mendoza. The Inquisitor? Interfering egoist? Egoist. Inquisitor man of magic and philosophy. Still. We must concern ourselves with the disc for now. Okay. Ooh, well, apparently he's not going to be all like, no, I refuse to work with you because you want to be an inquisitor. The crystal or... must heal itself. Lackey. This process must be assisted. What do you need me to do? The simplest way is to use another crystal to charge the magic in this one. I can do it. Do you have a magically active crystal? Yeah, of course. Maybe. Maybe I do. Where do I find a magically active crystal? Well, the mages at the monastery use crystals to work magic. I need one of those crystals, but know this, it will lose its power in the ritual. So I have to go all the way back to the monastery? Oh, no, 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 I have a crystal in my hut, in the chest. Here's the key. What? Uh, uh okay. I have an active crystal. I have an active crystal. Good, but remember, it will lose its power in the ritual. If you have any further use for it, you should look for another. Uh... One sec. Let me see what I actually have. I have no idea what it, what it is I'm handing over, so I think that's probably a good idea to figure out, huh? Uh, magic crystal... I don't really care. I don't need either of these things. I'm not a mage, so... Yeah. Totally doesn't matter. Also, I can open your chest, because you gave me permission to. So, let's do that. Oh, look, you got a third one. Ooh, good. Perfect. Very nice. So now we actually have two of the same. <laughs> I have an active crystal. Good. 
But remember, yeah, 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 you... lose power, blah, blah, nobody cares. Here is a map. Very good. The magic from this crystal will help us heal the damaged disc. Oh. All right, hold on. Before we do that, I'm going to sleep. I want to be at full health. I'm going to sleep until the next morning in your bed, sir. That means you had to sit there all night looking at me with envy, which is weird. You shouldn't do that. That's How creepy. do we restore the disc's crystal? Ah, it requires an ancient ritual. Then let's start it. Before we begin, I must discuss something with you. Go ahead. What do you want to talk about? Discuss what? You saved my life. I am in your debt, so I will help you. Yeah. But you must take oh. care. You do not know what is inside that mountain. That's so true. Before you act, I advise you to speak to me first. Uh, yeah. What if I don't have enough what time? What if I don't have enough time to return? Well, the mystery of the mountain has slumbered for over a thousand years. True story. A few days, more or less, should not make a difference. But to act rashly now, that would cost us a thousand years. An eternity. Before we act, we must know what is behind the gate. Fair it enough. Either very powerful, valuable, or dangerous. Find what is inside. Read everything, and return here. I can do that. Let's charge the crystal. Yes, but we cannot charge it here. Why? Follow me. It's that, it's that weird ultra place, I bet. Then I'm gonna have to fight off things trying to kill us. Something like that. That's my guess, and... I, I don't actually remember what happens here, so... It's a complete guess. It's probably a fairly good guess, though. This place is kind of creepy. We're gonna do another Stop. quick... Stop! We are here. Save, What is maybe? this place? It has great magical power. Let us begin the process. Let us begin the process. There, it's done. That's it? So the disc is healed? That is what we were here to do. Well... What else would I mean by done? Thank you. Then I will take the disc to the Inquisitor. Do that. Huh. And if you need a level ahead than the Inquisitor... Inquisitor? Inquisitor! How can a man with such a closed mind be called inquisitive? Uh, it is a crime against language. It Keep is. Keep a level head. Speak to me before you make a decision with him. I promise you an open mind and brilliant insight. Good luck. Ooh. Well, three out of five of the discs are mine now, and I have two left to reclaim. So we didn't find... I need to take a look at what I have left here. Let's open the map. Through the logbook, though. All right. We have teleport stones. Search for all fourteen of the island stones. Okay. Uh, crystal discs for the Inquisitor quest map. Inquisitor Mendoza is there. Oh, well, that's not great. Um, hmm. Crystal discs for the dawn. We know where they're at, but that doesn't really help me. I gotta remember where the remaining ones are. I was pretty sure I was heading toward one. Oh, it tells me where the rest of the teleport stones are. Okay. The cursed lords. Leon's down there. I killed Lord Patriscon. Hmm. Uh, where's the gold delivery? Oh yeah, I gotta go talk to Severin. Okay. So Severin, and that leaves us with one, and I don't know if he told us where the last one was. So we're gonna head down to Severin, I guess. Um, hmm. Well, what's over... I bet that's... Okay, okay. I know where that is. That's fine. Um... We haven't really gone up into this area yet. There's probably one up there. That one. Okay, so that's probably where the remaining ones are. There's also the possibility that down over here somewhere, near um, Harbor Town, that one island might have something as well. Alright, let's see. Where are the teleport stonies? Where do they take us? Bandit camp. I want to go to the Eastern Temple, I think. I don't think that's where I clicked, though. Well, we'll see where this takes me. Oh, okay. We're here. Where is here? 
definitely not where I want to be. Um, hmm. Try it again. Let's see if we can't get to Severin for realsies this time. The whole Cyrus uh, distraction and Eldrick and all that was uh, definitely not part of the plan. It just sort of happened. So let's see. Yeah, we should be able to get to Severin fairly easy at this point. I say this, but there's really no telling. I mean, any number of things could pop up and kind of wreck our faces and our plans. So we're going to hope for the very, very best. We're going to head on up and see what we can and cannot do. And it's going to be sweet, sweet nice. Alright, let's see here. Up and around, I guess. Onward! Onward, I say. Ooh, oh, uh oh. There's lizard men on the surface. Huh. Well, apparently we have uh, stirred up quite the number of nasties. Hmm. Well. Ha! Bring it on, lizard man. Oh, oh. Alright, well, there we go. We managed to outperform his uh, little sword slashy slashy action with our ginormous two handed hammer that we wield with one hand. Why? Because we're that strong. What? What? I got another teleport stone? Where does this one take me? East Coast, Eastern Temple, Eastern Volcano Cave, the Northern Temple, the Southeast Coast. Let's see where that takes me. I think that's the one we just picked up. And, uh, oh, there's more guys laying around here, huh? Okay, that's kind of weird. And I suppose it's just right next to where we were just at, so... I don't totally hate it. Alright, let's go, buddies. What you got? What you want? I will say most of this game is not overwhelmingly loud, but his screaming, oop, his screaming when he yells and swings his weapon, exceptionally loud. It is so loud, like when I'm rendering this to actually post up on YouTube, it's the loudest thing in the world listening to this guy going, every single time he swings. I'm almost... To the, I, I don't know, guys. Maybe you, you should tell me whether that actually bothers your ears or not. It always bothers mine, but... I don't know. Maybe I'm just going insane. I have no clue. Let's take a look down here. Is it just water? It is. And thankfully, we didn't fall to our death. Sometimes I walk over to edges and I don't stop in time, and it's generally a bad idea. Well... We've dealt with some of the towers... Oh, there's an herb here. And we dealt with most of the uh, enemies. Which is also pretty nice. But yeah, the lizard men are now starting to walk on the surface, which isn't great. Ah, Druid's Hemlock. We need to find out some more uh, alchemy things, too. I feel like we're, we're still missing a relatively large selection of potions we should be able to make to make us even more powerful than we already are. So we'll, we'll see. Maybe eventually we'll be okay. Well, you know what? I just kind of got wrecked, right? I got beat down pretty bad. We're all in agreement that I, I got owned by those lizard men. Well, the good news is, right over here, there happens to be an abandoned house. And while that would normally be such a really great thing or even all that important, as long as there's no lizard men sitting here waiting for me, I should be able to come in here and take another nap. And naps are good. Naps are great. Sleep till the next morning because, well, why not? Ah, we are well rested, we are fully healed, and we are going to do another quick save. Alright, at this point, we're still trying to get to Severin. I'm going to make it there. Darn it, I promise you guys, before the end of this particular episode, and it will hopefully set us up pretty good for the next one. I might even get some conversation out of the way. Who knows? Who can say? Who can say? I know there's still an Ash Beast near that temple, or in that temple, near... Severin, so perhaps that's something we have to do. I think that house is along the way. I we killed Lord Patriscon. I'm not sure if that's uh, going to solve the one individual's problem of being haunted, but maybe, maybe it will. I don't know. Who can say? Who can say? 
Alright, we're going to come over here. There are no lizard men trying to eat us, or any other creatures for that matter. Any other creatures trying to eat us, not that the lizard men are trying to eat other creatures. What's up, Leon? I found a second one of those rings. I found a second one of those rings. It looks as though only undead lords have them. Well, undead lords and you. Uh, oh, God! What do you think that means? I suspect that your talking ghost, Patriscon, gave the other lords vassal rings so he could control them. But something went wrong, and they all ended up undead. What does that have to do with me? When you found the vassal ring, Patriscon tried to take control of you. That's why you're hearing his voice. Yes. Yes. He talks to me. Says things. He says things to me. Maybe next time you won't go picking up someone else's belongings. And you think that warrants a death sentence? He wants me to kill myself. End it all. There has to be a way to break this curse. I hope so. Before this curse breaks me. I need more information about these undead. Can you mark where these ruined towers are on my map? Right, right. Let me get my head straight. Well, one isn't far from here to the north, and two are on the west coast. I think there could also be one on the south coast and one in the east. I'll mark them on your map anyway. I hope it helps. Right. Thanks. Alright. By the way... The undead Lord Patriscon is dead. Again. You finished him. But I can still feel the curse. I can feel those other lords. Now they're whispering to me. Oh, oh no, it's worse than ever. <laughs> the curse must still hold. They won't let me rest. They want revenge for what Patrascon did to them. You'll have to get the vassal rings from those wretched creatures. Break the link for good. Please. I will do I'll my best. I'll take care of it. Please. They can't be left to curse people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a hero. But I don't worship me. It's fine. It's all about hero worship here. All right, let's see. Where to? Where to? Well, I guess... The quickest way to where we want to go is like over to this little ridge here, so let's see if we can not break the game. Hey, hey, look at that. The game didn't break for once. Yay. Oh, there are moths. My favorite, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if my timing has improved at all. I doubt it, but maybe. There are a lot of herbs over here. Before I go murder some moths, let's see if I can't murder some mushrooms. Put them all up in a mushroom stew and feed them to Banky. My undead horse. I don't know. Do, do undead things need to eat? If I had an undead horse, I would totally name it Binky. And then I'd say stuff like I, I've said several times. Run like the wind, Binky! Or ride. Ride like the wind. I mean, that's that's viable. It'd be on a horse now. Oh yeah, what? Oh, grave moth that, fool. This thing's hiss like, ugh. Just give me the willies. It's fine. Alright, so Wanderlust. We get some more mint. Druid's uh, gimmicky doohickey over there. Uh, hemlock, that that stuff. Hemlock, it is a cool word, by the way, guys. Say it, hemlock. Hemlock, yeah. Eh? Eh? Sorry, guys, that's also a psych line. A lot of mint over here. My goodness, we're gonna have the freshest breath out of anyone ever. Alright, we are here. We are going to... Quick save! Yay! Are there birds walking or chickens walking around? I guess, well, chickens technically are birds. <gasps> Random. Oh, gosh! Oh, he just beat me to death! Oh. What are you guys talking about over here, huh? Craban and Sirius. Why are you so serious, man? Why so serious? Alright, so get some shroomage. Come over here and. Oh, what's this? Oh, dairy. Hey! Come out to see the pigs. Sure. Anything much happening out here? We've got grave moths buzzing around everywhere. Not I anymore. I can't let the pigs out of my sight. Grave moths eat pigs. Wow. If they're hungry enough, they'll eat anything. And pigs aren't known for being able to defend themselves. You haven't met the boars that I've met. Ugh. Grave moths are all dead. That's great. The pigs will be happy. I'm Derry, by the way. Derry, guardian of the pigs. That's me. Here, take some coins. The pigs say thank you. The pigs are very welcome. Especially for giving me 25 coins. I mean, I feel as many grave moths as I've had to slaughter, I should be getting at least double that. I, I'll still accept it. You know what, I want to go take a look before we 
We pack it in for the episode. I want to see if there's any lizard folk wandering around outside up here. So I feel like there might be. Nope, it does not appear to... Oh, yes. Aha! I made the correct assumption. Oh, yeah. Ow, okay. You win. I don't want to get hurt. Don't hurt me. You're next. Oh, yeah. Leveling up. Doing work. Yeah. And Dunskis. No, not quite yet. There it is. Yeah. Oh. Gotta love that level up. Oh, we got another teleport. Man, we're getting teleport stones all over the place. Apparently, though, only lizard men, women, children, goats, I don't know. Only they actually have the teleportation stones of teleportation. It's fine. It's totally fine. Circular logic. It doesn't matter. Alright, so let's head back down into the firm. The firm. Yeah, I remember there was like one thing that we did that broke like all the magic seals and that's or when we broke the magic seal, I think that was the one thing that we had to do to actually get lizard men up on the surface. I'm not sure if there were any others on the surface before that point. Outhouse anyone? No? Okay. Druid's hemlock anyone? Okay, so some of the herbs may have respawned at this point as well. We're done. We're done with most of the towns and things. Ooh, woodcutter's axe. I will totally take that. Well, I think we are just about done. I think we'll babble to these few folks that remain in the farm. Oh, look at the piggy rolling. Anyway, a uh, few folks in the farm, and then well, he's a recruit. He doesn't even have a name, so he doesn't count as a real person. You must have someone else to talk to. We have Derry chilling here with uh. Sure you have plenty to do. He doesn't want to talk to me either. Serious. Hello there. Are you on your way to the to the monastery? Absolutely. No. Maybe. Oh, what, what kind of? Don't you have something to do? Okay. Sure. You guys are a bunch of talkative folks. <laughs> That's right. Your five gold, your empty vial, and your apple. Mine. And you're none the wiser. Or Bud the Wiser, I don't know. One of those two things is probably true. Onward! Alright, you know what? I've been giving you guys about 20 to 30 minute episodes. I think I might run a little long this time. So we're going to do a quick savey save right here. Seven. You, you better not be a looter. Or a vagrant. Perhaps I'm a vagrant. An emissary from Don Esteban. Looter. Is that so? I didn't think the Don's men went around alone. You tend to travel in packs. I'm Severin. This farm is under my command. Stay away from the buildings and don't question my people. Too late, buddy. Already Remember did. that, and we'll get along just fine. Good to know. Uh huh. Uh, there's a little more to it than that, buddy. Hey, you supposed to be here. Got to watch yourself around here if you're not authorized. Uh, huh? You guarding this place? The buildings, yeah. We keep supplies here and uh, a lot of stuff from the ruins. I also do a little, you know, trading. I'll get you anything you need for a little gold. It's a win-win situation. It's good to know. So we can help each other out. I mean, we're friends now, aren't we? Sure. Let's trade. All right, what do you have available? You have light telekinesis and some small magic healing. I don't hate that. Um... Healing potions are always fun. Ooh, that's actually pretty expensive. Eh, we have a decent supply of gold. Uh, let's see. We can sell you the 32 lizard swords that we have, because why not? Um, eh. Some other various things. Some cutlasses. A bunch of machetes. There it is. A machete. Ooh, sabers. We'll get rid of them. Thorn maces. Oh yeah, we just made money off of this. I am a happy, a bumpy. There we go. Let's trade them items, and we are now richer for it, and he is poorer for it. So, I need to talk to you, Severin. Don't even think about stealing. I don't want to steal. I want to talk to you. Uh, didn't Mendoza say I had to talk to Severin about something? I mean, I'm. Pretty certain he told me that. You're just a recruit. Out! Yeah, get out of here! Shut up. Alright, well, I don't really. Hmm. <laughs> we 
Well, folks, I think I know what I'm going to do then. I'm going to give something a try. I'm going to do a quick save right before I do and see what happens. I'm, like I said, I'm still fairly certain that we're supposed to talk to Severin, but he doesn't seem to be all that interested in, it, in talking. He seems more interested in being a, a douchey douche and saying nothing. He's like, nope, mm -mm, tight lipped. You work for the Don? I don't have anything to do with you. So we're going to come back to this wonderful place that we went to before. We're going to go on inside. We're going to kill the Ash Beast because we're powerful enough to do so. Assuming I don't mess up horribly, which has happened countless times, guys and gals. My uh, combat expertise is very wishy-washy, if you want to call it that. I do really well and really terrible at different times, so... There is that. Alright, let's see if we can't get the Ash Beast to come play with us. This trap better not have re-triggered. I'm going to be very dead. Alright, I should, in theory, be able to handle this. Oh, the obsidian deposit. Nope, not this time. Alright, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to man up and kill this thing, I think. What's up, stinky face? Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. 300 experience, flawlessly done, like a magical boss of magical bossitude and awesomeness. And this place looks dangerous. I can totally fall to my death here. No kidding. Alright, and we leap! I'd say like a lizard, but I think that would be offensive in this game. Leaping lizards? No, nothing? Alright. Game hasn't broken yet. That's a good sign. It does seem to... Oh. We climbed up there and then somehow fell off just by turning. Alright. We are up here now. Not sure that really helps us much, but we're gonna... Spam that save, ladies and gentlemen. And... Ooh! Another one of those magical barriers that we can break through. Pretty excited by that. Yeah. Ooh. He is there. I bet he wants to kill me a lot, too. Oh, look at him, all high priesty like. Oh. Somehow I didn't dash back like I thought I was going to. Oh! oh ho, ho, ho. Impressive, good sir. Alright, so I got slapped around like a little woman there. Not that little women should ever be slapped, guys. I don't condone spousal abuse or any kind of abuse, really. Alright, let's try that again. I'll move a little less suck. Oh, gosh. That hurt. Yeah. Totally intended. Alright. And destroyed. Alright, he hurt really bad when he hit me. Oh my gosh, that was so painful. I'm gonna chuck a couple more potions, and there we go. Alright. So talking to that, that dude outside of uh, Severin's little area of death was pretty beneficial to us. Alright, we're going to use our magical barrier destruction thing. And we are ready. What's in here? Who is coming to kill us? No one? Really? Okay. Conjure skeleton. I can handle that. Oh, there's a potion. Anything else in here? Wow, the whole place is shaking. That doesn't really seem to bode super well for us. Strong magic healing, another random potion. Okay, and a sarcophagus that apparently is going to spawn a skeletal warrior who's going to smack me because I'm good at combat. There it is. A rusty sword. And really nothing else. I don't know if that was worth it. I feel like getting into this room, not really that beneficial. Just saying. Um... See, maybe with telekinesis activated, we can see something that we didn't see before? No, I don't think so. And there's no, like, hidden switches or levers or levers or anything like that? No? 
Okay, so this is just a random walk in here and get a couple of extra kills for no reason and use a spell that we didn't really need to use. But hey, you know what? We did it. No use crying about it. It's done. It's over with. We were victorious in that combat. We killed the Ash Beast flawlessly. Oh gosh, I thought for sure I was going in the lava. I was going to go in the drink there, but I didn't. That's sweet, sweet, nice. Alright, I don't think this magical barrier thing works on this. I'm going to give it a shot, but I'm pretty sure it's only those orange barriers. Yeah, see, it doesn't, it doesn't trigger. Alright, well, I guess we will head out. And I still have this odd feeling that we really, really need to talk to Severin, but we're unable to do so. Um... I might go back, talk to Inquisitor Mendoza, and see if he has anything else to say. I'm not sure. But it does seem like we're missing some of the crystal discs that we need to have. And I'm pretty sure uh, Severin was supposed to have one of those. So we'll spend one more little chunk of time running back to talk to Severin. Then we'll probably spend some time teleporting in the next episode. We're about 36, 36 minutes or so in, so I feel like we've... We've given it a good shake, and I will continue immediately after, actually, guys. I am psyched and pumped. I want to finish this game off really, really soon, so... I was about to start up uh, Heroes of Might Magic 3, and I'm like, you know what? Nah, let's, let's do some more Risen. Let's see if we can't get through this. Ruben! Meh. Severin, are you finally ready to talk? No. Well, hmm... Gotta say... There's a pile of gold up there, look at that. Totally steal some stuff out of here. Yeah, we can, look at that. Like magical ninja thieves here. Oh. Gold coin in the potted plant, why not? Some rum under the bed. Good stuff all around, I have to say. Looks like there's some more gold up there that I can't quite get to. Don't even think about steam. It's a candlestick, okay. It's not they're not looking at me. Think you can get away with that? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't do anything. Stop. Or what, buddy? You know what? I think I'm gonna have to tell you a joke, my friend. Sub Ruben. Sub buddy. Go back. Ah! Oh. Huh. This is weird. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> ah. You hit me, you swine. You're lucky I don't smash your face. Alright. <laughs> Whatever. Nice one. Thank you. Oh, I'm just casually walking around over here. No big deal. No big deal. I'm waiting for Severin to turn away. And not have the other guy standing at the door looking at me. I don't know if that's a thing. I'd like to get into that chest. So I think, well, huh? You still won't talk to me, huh? Well, folks, I think I'm gonna break off the episode here. I can't talk to. Well, he says don't question his boys. Maybe we can talk to him now. Jerry says nothing. Sirius is like, Mer. Please don't. Crayban's like, don't talk to me. I don't want to know nothing. Uh -uh. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. All right. So let's see if we can't sneak over here. A little sneaky sneak, huh? A little sneaky sneak action. And... Well, there's nothing really in there that we need. It's unfortunate. Alright, so here's the plan. I have a new plan. The new plan is, before I break out the episode, some weed reefer laying on the ground. Oh, what else is down there? More. Alright. 
Uh, we come back here and be like, oh, what's up in here? I'm in your house. Yay. Be scared. Be afraid. No, nothing. You guys don't care, huh? Hi, guys. Oh, look at that. I'm over here, huh? Eh? Yeah, yeah, no, nothing? Okay. So I'm going to wait until the guy who's in there is gone, and then I'm going to sneak past Looking for something? Oh, just tie my shoe, guy. Just saying. Ah, made it inside. <laughs> I don't have a lot of time, but I might have enough. That wasn't it. Quick. There. Okay. Just casual just out! casually walk yeah, around. Get out of here. I don't know what happened either. It's it's a big surprise to me too. All right, folks. Now I am. Now, ma'am. Now, ma'am. Now I am gonna officially break off the episode. Yes, ma'am. It is over with, and we are out of here. I think the one person I'd love to talk to is the guy that was guarding the road. So, I might talk to him in the next episode, and then we're gonna teleport around, see if we can't do some other stuff, and maybe figure out what in the world's going on with the last two crystals. Either way, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. I'll catch you next time with more Risen. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.